Y'all know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Good Alls Country Kitchen. We're out here in LaGrange, Kentucky at Catlett's Deli and Food Mart. I got a new VIP guest with me, Kurt Hall, Eastern High School, class of 84. We graduated together. Kurt's been reaching out to me the last few months, wanted to do a review. So here we are. We're in luck today. It's Meatloaf Monday. So I already called ahead to see what the special was. Uh, this place is known for having hot plate lunches for breakfast and lunch. They have an incredible breakfast. I think they open up at 5 or 5.30 in the morning. Uh, I'm going to come back for the breakfast sometime. But anyway, I was out here last weekend with the family at a field hockey game down the street. And me and Melissa drove around before the game started. And I said, well, let me peek my head in the window here. They were closed. It was Sunday. Peeked in. And in the deli case, I saw a big loaf of liver cheese. I told Melissa right then, I said, this looks like my kind of place. Kurt, what do you know about uh, this place? Anything? I have to know nothing about it. Nothing about I it? I want to learn about it, though. Okay. Well, I can tell you, Kurt used to come to my parents' old restaurant, Goodall's Country Store. He was raised up in Eastwood, which is just east of where their restaurant used to be. This is what always brings me back, the memories of the old Goodall's Country Store. Good old country deli with the good down home cooking and liver cheese sandwiches. All right, what do you think you're going to be getting into? Uh, I seen some burgers on the, the website that I looked at. They look good. Uh, they have like a steam table. Yeah. Uh, fried chicken and stuff. So probably going to check out quite a bit of it. Yeah, I'm going to be tearing some stuff up. And also stick around for the end of the video. Uh, I've got more announcements to give, and also. More uh, information on how you can get one of these new t-shirts. Got the Good Alls Country Kitchen with the Louisville, Kentucky. And, of course, home of the double snapping turtle. All right, quick look around. Just a good old country store. That's what I like. Right here in the heart of downtown LaGrange. Look here. Oh, yeah. Got the homemade pimento cheese, chicken salad. Look, you can even get eggs, deviled eggs. Oh, yeah, looks like red velvet cake, homemade cookies. This is going to be a good review today, I can already tell. And then over here, you got a fried chicken, the meatloaf, mac and cheese, all the side items. And then, of course, this is what put the hook in me. You see that right there? Liver cheese, call them my name. <laughs> All righty. We're going to start getting loaded up here and be right back. Also got the Fountain Cokes. What I got like. Right, so I'm starting off with the Meatloaf Monday. Got me a meatloaf sandwich. Had her put a slice of onion on there. And y'all know how I do it. Out there at Convenient Food Mart in Shelbyville, they just call this Barry's Way now. When people order a meatloaf sandwich, they say, you want it Barry's Way? Because so many people come in there asking for it the same exact way that I got it. Mayonnaise and onion. Okay. And I didn't bring my hot sauce in. I could have went back to the car, but they got hot sauce. So I'm good there. Now, here's something interesting. Plastic fork you see there. I had a, a, one of my loyal followers, Gail Johnson. I believe she lives out in California. I just received this in the mail yesterday. 
it's an actual camping set of silverware. Let me read what she wrote. She wrote, a gift for you. Enjoy your gift. We can't stand to see a grown man eating big orders of food with a plastic fork. One more time. LOL from Gail Johnson. Gail, appreciate that. And your gift has just come in handy. No more plastic fork action. All right. Got the green beans, mac and cheese. These green beans look like they're seasoned really well. I see, I think that's a country ham. Yep, country ham. Very good green beans. I ain't trying to get healthy or nothing. All right, now the mac and cheese. That's really good too. Good and cheesy. Got uh, it's pretty rich tasting. It's got a good flavor. All right. Now to the meatloaf sandwich. Oh, I got to stick it up to the camera. So the hater that told got on me uh, last week said, don't be putting your plates up to the camera anymore. Well, there you go. Double snapping turtle. Mm. Mm. That's some good meatloaf. Yeah. Did y'all need tartar sauce? I got it right here. Right. Thank you. Anything else? Not, well, I'm going to be getting more. Trust oh, me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I had declared Shelby County the meatloaf capital of Kentucky, but... I'm going to have to include this. You definitely going to have to cross the county line out here in Oldham County and get some of this. Mm. Wash it down a little diet. Well, now a word from my sponsor. Welcome to Billy Bob's Barbecue and Amish Deli. Little country store with a whole lot to offer, so let's go in and see what they got. They've got homemade Amish jellies, pickles, jams, and honey and sorghum. They've got local Amish-made lunch meats and cheeses. And don't forget the award-winning Kansas City Gourmet Barbecue. Y'all don't know nothing about this Amish liver cheese and homemade sourdough bread. And don't forget about the homemade Amish fried apple pie. Just a 30 minute drive outside Louisville. It's veteran owned, and y'all don't know nothing about this Billy Bob's Barbecue and Amish Dell. All right, Kurt, tell me about what you got. All right, my first choice here is uh, a fish sandwich. We went with it because Barry found out that it was Icelandic cod, and uh, he said we couldn't skip that. So, going yeah, if you go sandwich. somewhere and got Icelandic, you got it, you got to get it. All right, so we're going with the fish sandwich. I'm going with some mac and cheese and some uh, crinkle cut french fries. Can't get enough starch. Nope, never. Old school crinkle cut. They look like they're cooked well, too. Mm -hmm. They are. Very good. Can never go wrong with french fries. Can you spin that plate around a little bit? Let me get a good horizontal look at that fish. Can you raise the bun or the bread there? Oh, yeah. That's a good looking breading on there. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah. Can't wait to dig in because y'all know I got one too. Couldn't pass <laughs> it up. Hmm. Hot. Oh my gosh, it's good. You don't do tartar sauce? No. They got they their do, homemade tartar sauce here. They either do ketchup or um, mayonnaise. Or plain. It's fine. Man, I think you done scalded yourself. Look, <laughs> <laughs> it was hot. <laughs> Take one for the team. This lost all the skin off the roof of his mouth. Mac and cheese are hot too, but very delicious. That is good. I was thinking when I looked at it, I was thinking, oh, that looks like it might be a little dry, but it's actually not. No. And very tasty. Mm -hmm. Very good. Try this one more time. Oh, there he goes. Double snapping turtle. You know, after I, st after I started watching you, I realized that I've been doing that all my life. 
It's a, I'm telling you, it's a scientific method. It's the best way to get full flavor on your food. The first bite pushes toward the back of the palate, and then the second bite comes in to where your full mouth cavity is just bursting with flavor. Now, does this does that scientific method go along every genre of people, fat people? Skinny it's people? not just for fat people like us. Okay. That's everybody. It's just a matter. It's a scientific method of the best optimum taste of food. Okay. Well, I'm going to just get a break here and get some ketchup, but uh, I'll get back with you. All right. All right. You see I made short work of that meatloaf sandwich. Now on to the fish. I'm just going to go ahead and fix it up, but nice looking breading. Oh, tag on it. Looks like it's kind of stuck to my bread, but anyway. See that white flakiness? That's how you know good cod. Good cold water cod. That's why Icelandic is so good because they, they catch it in the icy waters of the North Atlantic. And as soon as it comes on the boat, it's flash frozen to where it's fresh. When it comes over here to the United States, they, you thaw it out. It's just, just like you caught it off the boat. All right. Go ahead and taste the piece here before I put the bread on it. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That good crunchy cornmeal breading. Very good. Now. Mm. Now, I know by now y'all will have seen my Catholic Church fish fry video. So if you're out this way, you won't have to run into uh, Louisville to get your uh, Catholic fish fry fish sandwich. You can come here and get it. They have it daily, and they run a special on Fridays, I see over there, where you get for uh, $8.99, you get a sandwich and a side. All right. Mmm, crinkle cut fry. Let me try it. All right. Kurt's moving on to his next item. Look seen, at there. Seen the BLT on the menu and couldn't pass it up. And you know, it's off season, but those are some good looking tomatoes. Yes, they are. There you go. Manhandle that thing on thing. Yeah. There you go. I like the aggression. Mm -hmm. Very good. Bacon's good. Lettuce and tomato are fresh. We got mayonnaise on it. I forgot I asked him for mayonnaise, so that's good. Yeah. Got to have mayo on that BLT. Mm -hmm. Of course, I would have had onion on it. <laughs> I got to have onion on everything. Well, that's a good looking sandwich. Very good. Wheat bread. You trying to go healthy? Just always like wheat bread, but every little bit helps. All right. Well, I'm going to come back in a minute and start getting into what I came here for. Be right back. All right, got the next item as you see here. And I got this spicy mustard. When it comes to liver cheese or Braunschweiger, you know, I can take lettuce and tomato, but actually I just really prefer onion and spicy mustard on white bread. All right, so you got the nice little fat ring going around it there. She asked if I wanted her to take the fat off. I said, well, heck no. More fat, the better. Mmm.
Nothing escapes that double snapping turtle. Mm -mm. There ain't too many places you can take a ride in the country and pull up and get you a good liver cheese sandwich. It's like it takes you back to the days gone by. Mm. Got some country hams here. Kurt's got his uh, dessert. I went up there and found chocolate pie. Looked good. But then I seen her cutting up coconut pie. So, uh -huh. then, so then I was left with the dilemma, which one do I want? So what do I do? Being a fat person, I take them both. There you go. So, Better to have too much than not enough. That's, that's right. my motto. Now, let me see if I can get this thing open here to give it a try. There you go. Manhandle it. Get mad at that thing. <laughs> All right. We'll try the coconut first. My favorite. That. Mm. Very good and creamy. No need to cover up. If that food falls out of your mouth all over your shirt, just let it show. I'll show you. I hear you. <laughs> all right. Let's give the chocolate pie one. Try. I'm trying to be proper. <laughs> I'm not proper. This channel ain't proper. <laughs> there you go. Mm, my God. Both very, very good. I know my wife's going to be watching this going, why are you eating two pieces? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, honey. Sorry, not sorry. Right. Yeah. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> she knows I am. We have a pie at home or something. Right. She gets one piece out of the whole pie. Well, that's the way it's supposed to be. Right. You're just looking out for her. That's right. Making sure she don't overeat. She's nice and thin, and that's the way I want to keep her. There you go. That's the way I do, Melissa. Out of politeness, I make sure I eat everything up where she don't have to fight the temptation. Right. They don't see it that way, but that's the way we do. We look, for, we look out for them. Right. Yeah, an after dinner appetizer. Deviled eggs. Where's that pepper? Gotta have that pepper. Tasty. 279 for uh, these this order of deviled eggs. You go out to these restaurants nowadays, you get a deviled egg appetizer, it'd be like ten dollars with just one egg split in half. So at 279, that's a deal. That's why I love these good old country stores. My bad. Mm. All right, so I'm getting the red velvet cake. Which I'm going to tell you, it's not homemade, but it's Sarah Lee red velvet cake. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. Down in there. Got that rich velvet cake in there. And it's got that icing. White icing on it. Very good. Mmm. And of course, now wash it down with some cold milk. Ah, very tasty. I'm loving this place. They're only open from like uh, 5.30 in the morning till 3 in the afternoon. So you can't get here for dinner. You got to come for lunch or breakfast. Mm. All right. Had a good time out here with Kurt. I guess we haven't seen each other since I uh, graduated. We graduated in 1984. I seen you one time at the uh, VFW when they had an event over there in Littletown. Oh, okay. But other than that, uh, yeah, it's been since 84. Right. So good catching up. Yeah. 
And uh, as you see, the food's good. Great. That meatloaf sandwich, that's hard to beat. And uh, everything we have was good. Well, what did you think, Kurt? Yeah, everything was delicious. There's nothing that makes fat people, happy, fat people happier than a good meal. And I'm happy right now. There you go. I'm content. <laughs> Announcements. Uh, for y'all that haven't been following, uh, in Louisville, we're going to be doing a three-foot sub challenge. I'm going to eat a three-foot sub at the substation 2 on Fern Valley Road. It's going to be this coming Wednesday. Uh, me and Ryan are going to be there at 5 o'clock. We're going to be selling the new T-shirts in person. If you want to save the $7 shipping, come in person, get your shirt. Uh, I want to get a picture with you with your shirt. I'm going to put you on the, the end of the video uh, that we filmed that day. Also, uh, if you want to get uh, T-shirts from me, if you can't make it in person, uh, I'll ship the T-shirts. $7 shipping, but the shirts are $25. And if you get multiple shirts, depending on where you live, uh, be somewhere around $10, $11 uh, for shipping for multiple, you know, if you get two shirts. Good dogs. Yep. I good That was my parents' restaurant. Uh, uh, what was it, the Big Barry Burger? Yep, that was named after my dad, Barry Sr. Yep, over there, the old Barry Burger, yep. Also, be looking for a video coming out. We're going to be uh, doing a show at the La Rosita Mexican Restaurant. I'm going to have the group back with Adrian and uh, some of that crew that did the review with me at Queen of Sheba. Rose is going to be there with me. That same crew. We had such a good time. We're going to get the band back together again for another review. We're going to be doing that this coming Sunday. So be looking for that to come out next week. Also, Gail Johnson, I appreciate the gift. Came in handy. I'm going to keep this in my car just in case for emergencies in the future. That was a very good thought and, uh, you know, of coming up with a gift like this. So I appreciate that. Anything else, Kurt? No, he just uh, used it, and it benefited him well. Right. All right, so y'all don't know nothing about this Catlett's Deli and Food Mart. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Good Country Kitchen.